All right, thank you, George. Some disappointing news for Oklahoma schools. The state is not a finalist in the Race to the Top competition. That is a federal stimulus program that would have given area schools millions of dollars. Two News reporter Krista Flash has reaction. A successful bid would have put $175 million into Oklahoma's classrooms. Without that money, educators are wondering how the state will pay for some of the new reforms. The first attempt at getting race to the top grant money failed. So lawmakers changed Oklahoma's education laws to better meet federal standards. But even with the changes, a panel chose 19 other states, along with the District of Columbia, to compete for the final pot of more than $3 billion, shutting Oklahoma Oklahoma out once again. I can't imagine why. I'd like to know why. Cindy Hem is principal at Eugene Field, one of Tulsa Public's elementary schools. Our noise level is going to be a one. Hem says educators were counting on that money. The state's budget cuts are forcing her class sizes to go up. Not only that, students will also have to share textbooks. Third grade's going to have a cart, and so third grade teachers are going to teach math at a different time and cart them to the next. It is, is really crazy. There's also the question of how to finance a new teacher evaluation system. Governor Brad Henry insists Oklahoma will implement reforms with or without federal race to the top funding. Some believe the only way that will happen is if state lawmakers make education a top priority. This was the last round in the race to the top competition. To see the list of states that made the cut, go to KJRH.com. In West Tulsa, Krista Flash, 2 News works for you.